your grandfather and grandmother. Come on, I'm gonna show you something. Is it me? Mm-hmm. It's you at one. And this is your christening. <sighs> You know this picture. The one in the milk carton. Every couple of years, I'd put this on a carton. First time, everyone supported me. And after the second time, they said they understood. About the third and this last time. Well, I guess they thought it was time for me to forget. You try to give up to get on with your life, but no matter what you promise yourself, you got to give it that one last try. Sorry, there are no more pictures after age three. I, I wanted to wait until... You were here a little longer, but I... Well, I have to know. Um, did... Did they hurt... Were you hurt in any way? Did Hannah do anything to you to make her... You go with her, or... Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't really remember. But... I think I wanted to go with her. I think I was... I was having fun. Thank God you weren't hurt. <laughs> Jenny, it's... Uh, it isn't being disloyal to the Jasmines to start liking us. I know you're not ready to call me mom or... your father, daddy. I know that those are precious words. But it is okay for you to relax here. To have a good time, to... to laugh. Maybe even let somebody hug you. Start that again, Mom. Some of us have enough sense not to get lost. You can go back to taking the bus tomorrow. Now, Jenny, this is not going to be easy. I wish I could tell you different, but I'm not going to lie to you. Just be brave and make it through today and tomorrow. It will be a lot easier, I promise. Thanks. Bye. Now, little one. I'll take care of her, Mom. Bye. Bye. I know it's a big school, but you'll get used to it. They know about me, don't they? We had an assembly. You had an assembly about me? The principal wanted to make things easier, I guess. She told everybody they had to mind their own business and not ask you any questions. God. What's this? Jody told me you wanted to go for your learner's permit, so I thought you might need that. My birth certificate. Jennifer Marguerite Sands, Father Jonathan, and Mother Seda. You see, honey, you really do belong to us.
Janie? You okay? Oh. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Oh, they're nice, but... But I'd rather be with you. Oh, is Daddy there? Can I talk to him? Janie? Yeah, I know. I miss you, too, more than anything. Yeah, well, I can't believe the Sands let you call us. Well, they, they didn't. I know I'm breaking our promise, but, Daddy, I really want to come home. Them. They knew nothing about it, I swear. Can I speak to them, please? Hello? Mr. Jasmine. Yes, I know. She told us. Mr. Jasmine, my husband and I have been talking, and perhaps it would be better for Jenny's adjustment. Mm -hmm. if, you... if you and Miss Jasmine would speak with Jenny twice a week. At least until things settle down a little. Thank you. Thank you. You have no idea what this means to us. Maybe we should just think of her as a foreign exchange student, you know? She speaks a different language, <laughs> has different customs, she gets homesick a lot. Well, at least the TV people have left. My mom and I used to have popcorn after school. I don't want any. Sure you do, Jenny. Come on, Stephen just poured the milk. How many times do I have to tell you I'm allergic to milk? I don't know, Jenny. Why don't you tell us again? You know, we Sands, we're such slow learners. So why don't you tell us again about your allergy and your precious Wilmington and the precious Jasmines? Come on, Jenny. Tell us. I hate you! You can't even take a bowl of popcorn from us! I don't know why Mom and Dad always thought you were so special. It's not fair. We couldn't do anything because of you. We couldn't even move because Mom was afraid you might come back to the house one day. Cut it out. No! And you're not the only one that cries at night, you know. You're not the only one. Been hard on Jody. Mom, well, she used to run after strangers, just checking to see if the kid they had was you. Kind of gets embarrassing after a while. Can I play? some baskets. Dad. Or, or uh, playing soccer in the park. Dad, come on. I don't feel like it. Could you move, please? Say, Doug. Oh, I've got too much to do. Well, if you wouldn't mind teaching me, I'd like to learn how to play soccer. Sure. Great. <laughs> 